Uh, hello guys um, this is just a short video uh, about my Forca Pre Mark 1 I, I want to show you how I'm gonna spot weld with a TIG welder I need to do some spot welding on the chassis rails where I'm gonna be fitting uh, this beam axle so I have to put some reinfor reinforcement plates on the chassis legs and um, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it with the TIG this is my my TIG welder uh, I've set the amperage on 90 it's uh, just a cheap uh, TIG welder I think I've paid about 160 quid from Amazon it's called Roar or something like that. Let's see if you can, if you can see that. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. So first thing that you wanna do, this is my see this is the torch. And as you can see, the tungsten it's in the normal position. So what you want to do, you want to take the tungsten out. And you want to turn it around and put the flat side inside. And also, what you want to do, you want to leave a gap of about 2, two mil. So, if you put your finger at the end, and then tighten the back side of the torch. It doesn't need to be perfectly 2 mil, but approximately. The only thing you want to make sure is that the the tungsten it's not flushed with the with the cup you want to make sure that the tungsten it's slightly inwards I don't know if you can see good but something like that so you tighten this back next This is the uh, seal that we're gonna use, and it's about 0.74. Let me see if I can show you 0 0.76, 0 0.75, something like that. Now, the amperage that you want to use on the TIG on on the welder is you have to double the amperage so if you would use let's say 50 amp for this uh, sheet metal uh, you will have to use double so 100 I'm at the moment I'm on 90 so next thing you want to do you put it on top of each other just like you would normally do when you spot weld and next just put your torch on it press firmly and you want to keep the hand on the trigger for about between two to three seconds Um, I think I had a bit of debris or maybe my amperage is a bit too too high I'm gonna drop it down to 80 and see 
how it's gonna look. Right, it's at 81. That's better. Now, if I would have kept it a bit more, but you can see how nice that spot weld is. And believe me, that is strong. Well, let's give it a few more tacks. Try and keep it a bit longer now. kept it a bit longer a bit even longer man really nice spot weld right, now I'm gonna try and split this with two pliers and see how strong it is so. You can see the spot weld in there. It does need a lot of force to take that off. And you're actually breaking the metal. Yes, as you can see, the metal breaks, not the spot weld. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, guys, uh, thank you and please consider consider subscribing to my channel I'm gonna make some more videos uh, regarding my car and for now thanks for watching see you on the next one